Hello, welcome back. This is lesson number three in the Vic First series for mallet percussion. Last lesson, we got the inside mallet in your hand correctly. So we're going to start from that point. We're going to move on now, get the outside mallet in your hand correctly. So let's start where we ended. Then I want you to take your wrist and temporarily we're going to turn it over. You're going to take the shaft of the outside mallet. It's going to go between your middle finger and your ring finger. Push it all the way back to the webbing. I don't know what the scientific term is, but push it all the way back, nice and snug. Completely wrap around the pinky and the ring finger all the way around the shaft. Leave about a half an inch to an inch sticking out the back. This extra um, excess of the stick sticking out the back is important, especially for the young beginners, because we're taking up some of the weight of the mallet. <clears throat> So make sure it's wrapped all the way around, then get the, the hands and the wrist back to that um, handshaking position. Now, your mallets might not be perfectly level right now, which is fine. We're going to fix that in the next lesson. But take the time to get the mallets in your left hand, into the webbing, all the way wrapped around. <clears throat> Practice putting the mallets in your hand. Wrist position is the most important. Make sure you do not re you know, revert back to your two mallet approach or snare drumming approach. Make sure that wrist position is in that handshaking position and go through the checklist again from the last lesson to make sure you haven't um, forgotten any of that. Get it so it's nice, nice and comfortable. Next lesson, we're going to make sure we have the mallets level, and then we're going to be ready to continue on to the, to the basic strokes of the Stevens, Stevens grip. Okay? Looking forward to it. I'll see you then.